Hello, I'm Citrus, and you're looking at the 1100 scale EB06 Grays. Now, just like the 1100 scale Barbados, this has the stripped down gimmick, and I really like it here because I just love how the uh, gray skeleton looks with its super lengthy proportions. And the circular detail really comes out on the light gray plastic. So there's a, a quick spin of that for you. And I'm going to get rid of the Barbados here, and let's get it dressed up. I'm going to stop here at the head for a second to show you a really cool piece of articulation. And it's that the eye can rotate and articulate inside of the head independently. And this is really good for imitating all those scenes in the show where the Grays goes berserk. And as with any grunt suit, you can equip it with either a grunt helmet or a commander helmet. Our Grays is a big shot, so we're going to go with this one. And once you get it seated properly onto the back of the head, you can open and close the face to reveal the eye, just like you can on the high grade. Another customization point is the rear booster, which you can remove from the back skirt and the bracket, put on this other piece instead, and then stick it into the back of the shoulder. Here it is with all its armor and weapons. We have the axe on one side and the short barrel machine gun on the other. And the really great thing about this kit is when you pose it, the armor really doesn't get in the way. As you can see, the leg bends really well and so does the arm. But there are four spots in particular that I like to focus on. The first point is the chest, which has a really wide range of motion for the arms. And the next is the waist, which has a really good ab crunch. And then if I turn around to the back here, you can see the piston moving in and out. Next is the leg, which has a hinge joint that will let the entire leg move downwards like this. And this will allow you to bend the leg up a lot more quite considerably. And the last joint is the ankle, which despite the guard can actually bend sideways really, really far. Very impressive. Here are just a few of the different kinds of poses you can accomplish. Really nice wide-legged stances. So this kit can do a lot, but my favorite part was actually the build experience. While I was putting this guy together, I never felt like Bandai was cutting any corners, unlike with the Barbados. There was a lot of really good, clever engineering, and while this color scheme may not show it off very well, there's actually a lot of part separation here that makes it really easy to paint and customize. And that's probably why this is a 3000 yen kit instead of just 2500. For me, the biggest buying points were definitely the big size and the detailed skeleton. On the other hand, if you prefer a smaller kit at a lower price and with more colors and varieties to choose from but without sacrificing any of the mobility, perhaps a high grade is one for you. Unfortunately, I haven't built any of those for myself yet, but I do have the Grays Custom 2 and the Grays Ritter, which I'll be working on shortly after this. So that's something to look forward to, and that's all for this review. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.